All right, everybody, uh, welcome. This is my five minute lightning talk on Tauri. Uh, my name is Jonas Kokenberg. And uh, for those of you who don't know, Tauri is a toolkit that allows you to build tiny cross platform apps using your favorite front end framework. Why, you may ask? After all, there are a lot of projects that try to do the same thing. Reason number one the environment. It is not doing so great right now. According to recent studies by the UN, we will almost definitely miss the 1.5 degrees goal to keep global warming below 1.5 degrees Celsius. And we are already seeing the consequences, uh, the most recent example being the devastating floods in Pakistan. Yet, for the longest time, we as an industry have pretended that our actions, our code, has no impact on the environment whatsoever. But that's just not true. An app weighing 200 megabytes being downloaded a million times causes approximately 100 tons of CO2 emissions. We want to do better than that. Another area that we think needs improving is security. Cyber attacks have drastically increased since the pandemic started and are estimated to cause over $10.5 trillion in damages by 2025. That is a mind boggling number. And insecure apps become a gateway for attackers moving through your machine and your network. And of course, security is complicated, but can we build frameworks that are just more secure by default? Tauri is written in Rust, and we specifically chose Rust because it's both secure and fast. So you can complement your JavaScript front end with supercharged native functions. We call them commands for heavy number crunching or sensitive business logic. Tori also doesn't ship a full browser in every application. Instead, we make use of the web view that is provided by your operating system. And that already decreases bundle sizes by a lot, but we go even further. We give you fine-grained controls to select which APIs will be available in the final binary and which will not, drastically reducing both your app size and your attack surface. Because after all, you cannot exploit code that's just not there. So how well are we doing? Well, a minimal Tauri app is just 426 kilobytes. <laughs> I'm very proud of that. That is five times smaller than the average website for a full desktop app. And that is all well and good. But best practices are useless if they are hard to adopt. Because let's be honest, I'm lazy and you are probably lazy too. So we've been thinking about ways to make developing and deploying apps as easy as websites are today. We built a GitHub action so you can build, sign, and deploy your app right where your code is. We also implemented a self-updater, something that is notoriously difficult with other frameworks. But with Tori, it's just a few lines of configuration. And additionally, to the huge number of supported standard web APIs, you can use Tori plugins to quickly extend your app's capabilities, like need logging or crash reporting. We have plugins for that, storing settings with user data. We have a plugin for simple key value stores and one for full-fledged SQL databases. But there are also plugins for things like storing secret keys or interacting with hardware security devices. And with the huge number of beautiful Vite and Rolla plugins, you can very quickly create amazing apps. To get started, open a new terminal and run our Create Tori app utility. You can choose from a large number of templates, most of them powered by Vite, of course. Open up the folder and you will notice it looks very much like a standard website, except for the additional source Tauri folder that contains all your Rust core code. Run Tauri dev and your app will open in development mode. Then, once you're happy with it, run Tauri build to bundle your app for production. So, what is next for Tauri? The team is hard at work implementing support for Android and iOS so you can build desktop and mobile apps very soon. We're also very aware that Rust is not the easiest language to learn. So we plan to support more like C++, Go, Python, and JavaScript to make Tauri more accessible. And lastly, a plugin system that lets users customize their app is just cool. But it's also a security nightmare. So I'm happy to report that we are working on a security-focused plugin system using WebAssembly that will be released soon. And that's it. Visit our website to learn more or stick around for the post-conference talk. And you can join our Discord server or follow us on Twitter at Tori Apps to stay up to date or ask questions. Thank you so much for listening and have a great conference.